Hello everyone, this is Yakalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem: Solve 2x minus 10y cube into dy by dx plus y equals to zero. Solution. Given differential equation. Two x minus ten y cube into dy by dx plus y equals to zero. So in this equation, y is a dependent variable and x is a independent variable, right? So we'll change this to simply we'll change it to. So here you're having two terms, right? If a fraction involves number of terms in the numerator and only single term in the denominator, then it will be easy to split the fraction. Okay. So, let's see how we are going to change this equation. Now take this y2, RHS. Plus y becomes minus y. Then 2x minus 10 y cube into differential dy equals to minus y to take this differential dx to RHS. You will get dx. Right? Then now take this differential dy to RHS and bring this y to LHS. Then you'll get 2x minus 10 y cube by y equals to minus dx by dy. Right. So here we are having a fraction whose numerator involves two terms and denominator has only one term. Right. But you can write this as dx by dy equals to if you multiply the equation with minus on both sides then we'll get dx that is minus of minus dy by dx will be dx by dy equals to minus of 2x minus 10y cube by y. Then dx by dy equals to, okay, just multiply the numerator with this minus, then you'll get minus 2x minus into minus plus 10 y cube by y. Now we can split the fraction into two terms minus 2x by y plus 10y cube by y. Now bring the term involving x to LHS. We we'll get dx by dy plus 2 by y into x or simply write as it is. 2x by y equals to 1y gets cancelled, you get 10y square. Then you can just write this as dx by dy plus 2 by y. I'm separating the function of y and x. Okay, function of y into function of x equals to 10 by y square. Now in this equation x is a dependent variable and y is a independent variable so we have changed the given equation like this right so this is linear equation in x right we're having in the numerator dx that is here we have independent sorry dependent variable as x and here also you're having x so we call it as linear in x since we know that the standard form of linear equation in 
the standard form of linear equation in x is dx by dy plus p into x equals to q where p and q are either functions of y alone or constants. Okay. Now by comparing these two, we can say that we have reduced the given function to linear equation in x form and also p equals to 2y y and q equals to y square, right? Which is linear in x. Where? P equals to 2 by y. And Q equals to 10 y square. So here P and Q are functions of y alone. Right. Since it does not involve any other variable other than y, so we call it as function of y alone. Okay. Now we need to find the integrating factor. So, we know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by e power integral p dy is equals to e power integral for p equals to 2 by y into dy. Now, write the constant outside the integral, you'll get 2 integral 1 by y dy is equals to e power 2 integral 1 by y dy is log mod y. Which is equals to e power. We know that, okay, you can just write this as 2 log y. Since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m, then you can write 2 log y as log y square. And also we know that e power log some function of y equals to function of y. Then from this we'll get e power law function of y equals to function of y. So here our integrating factor is y square. Here our integrating factor is y square. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that The general solution of linear equation in X is given by X into integrating factor equals to integral Q into integrating factor into dy plus C. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x into integrating factor y square equals to integral q for q equals to 10 y square into integrating factor y square into dy plus c. Is equals to write the constant outside the integral 10 integral y square into y square this y power 4 into dy plus c this is equals to 10 into integral y power 4 dy is y power 5 by 5 plus c 5 ones are 5 twos that is equals to 2 y power 5 plus c now we have x y square equals to 2 y power 5 plus c. Right. Now, take this y square to RHS. You will get 2 y power 5 plus c by y square which is equals to 
Here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split this into two terms and you'll get 2y power 5y y square plus c by y square which is equals to here. 1 y square gets cancelled, right? y square gets cancelled. If y square gets cancelled from the numerator and the denominator, you'll get 2y cube plus c by y square. Again, you can write this c by y square as c into 1 by y square, right? You know that 1 by y power n can be written as y power minus n. Then you can write 1 by y square as y power minus 2. Then this equals to 2y cube plus c into y power minus 2, right? So you got x equals to 2y cube plus c into y power minus 2. Therefore, x equals to 2y cube plus c y power minus 2 is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.